Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about how to remove and refit the visors on an LS2 Explorer and an LS2 Explorer carbon helmet. Okay, so we've got the LS2 Explorer, the LS2 Explorer carbon. I would normally try and do this with just one helmet, but there are significant enough differences between the two helmets to need to do the change on both to show you the differences between the two. They're kind of the same, but just about different enough. So I'll start with the LS2 Explorer, the normal version. So we need to get the peak out of the way to be able to change the visor. And to get to the securing screws, we need to remove this fiddly little cover just here. So we start by putting a fingernail in the back there, pushing that away slightly, and then just pulling that. It sounds a, a lot trickier than it is but eventually that just pops away put that to one side same on the other side just pivot it away at the back here push it down and that will unclip from there so that reveals the screws under there we get the screwdriver out cross-headed screw just slacken that take the screw out of the way more of the screwdriver should come clear now so set that screw to one side and that pops away, the visor's clear. So spin around, do the same on the other side. And do this screw. Again, set that to one side and then the visor just releases. Now, this helmet, there's no option as standard to run it without the peak. You can run it without the visor. So if I wanted this in off-road mode, say, and I wanted to use goggles, I could just put those screws back in now, and this would run quite happily without the visor. But if you want to run visor, no peak, which you might want to do if you're on a long tour, it's not really an option with this. That is an option with the LS2 Explorer Carbon, which I'll show you in a minute. So if we want to put the visor back on this helmet, pretty simple, really. This circular cutout here slots over the plate. So just pop the peak out of the way, slot that over, put the peak back over the top, get hold of one of these screws, pop that in there. Get the cover for the correct one. And I found the best way to do this is to pop the front lug in first, follow with that second one, so that one in, that one in, and then push till you hear that click. So the same on this side, circular ring over there, this peak over the top, get hold of that screw, put that in there, screw that up tight again. Front lug just into there, back one under here, click at the front, and that's on. Just check the visor a couple of times to make sure we've done it right. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. And that's all back on and in place. So that's the LS2 Explorer. I'm gonna switch now to the LS2 Explorer Carbon. Now you get some extra bits with this helmet, which I've just got here, and these make this a little bit easier to change and also a bit more versatile this helmet so first of all we don't need to worry about those clipping off those covers which are a bit fiddly we just get the allen key that's provided with the helmet we just undo the screw on there and we've cut out that annoying stage with the cover just peel that away and the visor's off so just keep the screw Screw separate just there. This stays on the peak. So spin around to the other side, do the same again. This screw in here and does with this Allen key. Just pop that away. The peak sits proud, rises out. If you're going to keep it running it with the peak, then it's just the same as we did with the normal Explorer. This goes over the ring there, sit that in place, pop that over the top and screw it back in. Now what you've got with this helmet that you don't have with the straight Explorer is the option to run it in street mode, so without the peak. 
which is something you might want to do, as I said earlier, on a tour, because sometimes peaks just give you a bit of turbulence that you don't really want, especially if you've got a long day in the saddle. So this gives you these extra spacers compared to the normal LS2 Explorer, which lets you run without peak. So to take that off, so there is one cover we've got to worry about with this helmet, is this one on top here, which lets us get to the peak. So you just prise that away, really simple. We do need a screwdriver for this bit. LS2 don't give you a tool for this screw. Cross-headed screwdriver. Undo that, this bit always falls out every time I do that. Keep the screw for that to one side and the peak's out of the way. So now we can attach the visor as we would have before. So the circular hole over the ring part of the plate there. Then these covers kind of replace the peak as spacers. So we slot that over, push it against this lip on the shell, get the screw, put the screw through there. Again, use the tool provided to tighten that. It's fine, same on the other side. So this hole over that ring, secure it in place, get the spacer, pop that over the screw into there. Check the visor functions as it should. That's all good. Now what you're left with is a hole at the top where the peak was mounted in but LS2 have given us something for that. They've given us a little plate that sits on top and there's also a screw for that. So they give you extra screws for those plates here quite handily but you'll see that this one's shorter you don't want it going all the way down into the helmet so just shorter screw there so that's the one that we're going to use in this plate the shorter of the two screws put the plate on there slot that into there and again this one does fasten with the tool that LS2 give you we're going to do that up on top And then we've got that cover on there. So now we've got this helmet in what you call street mode or urban mode without the peak. So that's the LS2 Explorer Carbon in street mode or urban mode. I hope throughout all of that you can understand what you need to do to change the visor on your helmet. And thanks for watching.